I would like to welcome you tonight, or day. I'd like to welcome you right now to a new episode of Dinner and a Drink. The only one-stop shop where I teach you how to make dinner and a drink. Welcome to Dinner and a Drink. And I... Today I'm going to be cooking for you some of Grandpa Scalzo's famous sausages, chicken sausages. I actually was scrolling around on Instagram and I had seen that Joe Rogan posted um, himself cooking up these hot dogs. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Look at that. And I said, hey, those look, those look pretty good, pretty tasty, pretty healthy. And I did a little research on their company and it's just these two dudes who found a grandpa's old recipe book and took his sausage recipes and kind of tweaked them a little bit and turned them into something profitable. I got the spicy Italian and I got the sweet, not, I got the not spicy ones also. So what I'm gonna be doing today is actually fusing two different things, right? So I'm going to take their sausages that Joe Rogan said he liked, and I'm going to make a sausage dish fit for Joe Rogan. I know he was on Fear Factor. I listen to his podcast sometimes when he has, you know, like UFO things and, and Bigfoot and alien, uh, those conspiracy type things, which uh, actually aren't conspiracies at all. From what I can gather just on the occasional times that I listen in, uh, he's a healthy dude. He cares a lot about his body, about fitness and, and staying well. So I wanna try and incorporate some of uh, this healthier, cleaner kind of thing, along with some stuff that I snooped around on his Instagram to find like there's a bunch of Indian stuff there, so I don't, I didn't see any Indian food, but I thought that with so much meditation and stuff, I would do an Indian-ish kind of sausage with this Italian sausage, so it's gonna be a fusion kind of thing. Now, I also noticed that Joe Rogan cooks a lot of steak, cooks a lot of meat. I personally don't cook a lot of meat or eat a lot of meat, but for the sake of protein, I'm going to make a protein Joe dog, Grandpa Scalzo Indian, dish. This will be my first time eating Grandpa Scalzo's um, wiener. This will be my first time trying the Grandpa Scalzo's um, sausage. So I don't really know the flavor profile, but I have had sausage before. So I think I can kind of gauge what it would taste like. I also thought, hey, we have a sausage here. Why don't I put it into a hot dog bun? and just throw a bunch of stuff on there. But then I, I, I thought, you know, I don't think Joe Rogan would probably, I don't think Joe Rogan would eat a hamburger bun or a, a hot dog bun. Bread makes you fat? The drink that I'm gonna be making is essentially a Moscow mule, but with tequila. I feel like uh, tequila just kind of blends a little bit nicer. And uh, I do a little bit of a different thing. I add just a drop of peppermint extract or spearmint extract to the mix and stir it up to really brighten the whole thing up and up against the spicy, um, heavy dog. It's not a dog, it's a sausage, right? We're not making hot dogs, it's a sausage. So we're gonna make the Moscow mule, which is actually called a Mexican mule with a little bit of peppermint ex extract in that. And I feel like the two flavors, the minty, sweet, spicy umaminess it's just gonna pair so well. So these came packaged up, um, they were frozen, but you know, this is some real gourmet shit or so I am told. I guess I will be the judge of that. Look at that, look at those chunks of vegetables in there. I mean, they smell, can you smell them? The day after I ordered it, I got an email from the CEO of Grandpa Scouts. David Martinez, which is actually my uncle's name. So David Martinez sends me this email with my tracking information and thanks me for my purchase. I'm sure it was a generic email. I'm sure they send it out to everyone. But it's a really nice 
in touch and I really appreciated it. And it really made me feel like I was connecting with Grandpa Scalzo. So I'm gonna add the duck fat and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of peanut oil too so that the duck fat doesn't burn. Okay, you ready? Now, because this is chicken, it has to get to an internal temperature of 165 degrees minimum. So this is gonna probably take a few minutes. So let's make a drink. While the other mic is over there continuing to finish up the sausage cooking process, I'm going to make a drink. So here we have some bum, 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 peppermint extract. I'm just gonna take this on a clean paper towel. Light, that's it, that's all you need. That's it. I'm gonna wipe it around the rim and a little into the cup. It's like Frosty's asshole. We're gonna fill the cup up two thirds of the way with ice. Now, and if you're wondering why this bottle is almost empty, well, because I drank it all. 1.5 ounces. You know, I mean, add a little more, why not? Fever tree. There is no better ginger beer for mixing your alcohol with. This is truly my go-to. It's uh, pretty pricey, but you know what? It's really worth it and it really is going to escalate your drink. Pour it up right to the top. Make sure it overflows and gets it all over the place. I'm gonna squeeze one lime all over the place. And I'm gonna squeeze another lime quarter Hell yeah. So, now that it's nice and hot and sweaty in here, I went ahead and I got a nice good sear on the sausages. Again, with it being chicken, you're gonna wanna cook that guy all the way through. If you're cooking it pork, you know, you have a little more wiggle room. Beef, definitely a lot of wiggle room. I mean, assuming there's no eggs or things like that in there. So I'm gonna make a little tartare with the bison that I was telling you about. This is a bison ribeye. It has been frozen, it is grass fed, it is okay to eat raw. Make sure you get something that is you know, tartar grade. So I'm just gonna thinly slice. Now I stuck this in the freezer for about an hour. So, and then I let it sit out at room temperature for about an hour. And it's nice and firm and it's a lot easier to cut. Make sure you're using a razor sharp knife. So that if you cut your finger, it just comes off clean and there's no struggle. And now this is a real simple tartar. Um, usually I would do, you know, garlic and all kinds of herbs and stuff like that, but I'm trying to keep it real simple so as to elevate the uh, Grandpa Scalzos. So we have a pound and a half of bison meat, bison ribeye, three scallions, about a tablespoon Worcestershire, and about a tablespoon of Grey Poupon. Have you any Grey Poupon? No, I didn't put any salt in here. I want the bison to be pretty neutral but I want all of that protein for Joe Rogan. A little fresh cracked pepper on here. So I'm actually pretty allergic to eggs, but Joe Rogan's not. And Grandpa Scalzo's is gonna be really elevated with an egg. Everything is elevated with an egg. It's cheating without cheating, right? Because it's neutral, but it just, something is so appealing about getting a burger or anything with just a fucking egg on it. So I had seen a post on Joe Rogan's Instagram also, where he where he goes through and he talks about, you know, the orange or the yolk, that's what I want. I don't know, I don't do a Joe Rogan impression. The orange or the yolk? I don't know, I can't do it. These are organic, pasture raised, I don't, they must massage the chicken shoulders. Do chickens have shoulders? That's a really good question. Um, no, they do not. They have knuckles. Now I'm heating up this green curry, which is just curry paste, some spices and coconut milk. It's pretty simple. Check out the recipe below. Okay, so now as you can see, these are done. And um, oh, look, it looks like a, um, a C and an O for Joe Rogan. I'm gonna put this down. Right there. Mm, yes.
tastes like sin. And now I'm going to drizzle my curry. Now I'm going to stuff my center. I hardly know her. And now some of Joe's famous candied pickled jalapenos. It's like maybe some mustard seed in there. Get a little of the juice. I don't know. I don't want to get too crazy. And now one beautiful fried egg. Here we have it. Joe Rogan protein is probably just off the chain here. Oh, look at those big chunks of bell pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh my God. If grandpa ain't happy with that, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Parrot. Exactly as I predicted. Cuts right through there. It, it's, no. Oh. That's really nice. Okay, let's taste the spicy one. See how spicy it is. Mmm. Mmm. This one tastes better with the egg. That was good with the egg too. This definitely tastes better with the egg. The candy jalapenos. It's bringing that sausage heat back down to a nice, enjoyable kind of heat. I mean, Grandpa Scalzo's Famous did not pay me to do this, but it's a damn good uh, sausage, and I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I mean, the way it looks, the way it, when it smelled, everyone in here was like, oh, damn, that smells really good. And it did. Oh. Like I said, I don't eat a lot of meat, so my gallbladder is just acting up on me. The concept is just solid. I'm actually really proud of myself. I don't know if I could eat one whole thing by myself, but I've seen those 50 ounce steaks that Joe Rogan has been cooking and I think that he could probably chow down on one of these. Um, maybe if I added another egg on for him. Head on over to Instagram, follow me there. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Go ahead and check out Grandpa Scalzo's. They are also on Instagram, which will be down in the description. And Fever Tree, who truly completed this drink. Uh, with their ginger beer, which is different than ginger ale, right? So ginger beer is brewed. Ginger ale is just carbonated soda with ginger syrup in it. Ginger beer is brewed ginger. It just got all, if you guys could still eat it, it just got all over the table, not on the food. It's cool.